Hello, this is Francis from McCaffrey Crafts, and uh, I thought it'd be interesting to, to make a, a video about this um, Black Thorn uh, walking stick. Um, as you know, I am Francis McCaffrey, a fifth generation Black Thorn stick maker here in County Kerry in Ireland. And uh, I make lots of different um, types of Black Thorn walking sticks as well. Um, I get my inspiration from, from many things, like um, sometimes I'm just looking at old pictures or old photos, or sometimes I, I, I see some, some, um, some different things. And, uh, you know, sometimes it's just naturally occurring in nature as well. But one, one of the sticks that you don't actually see too much of these days, and it could be maybe for shipping or for, or for uh, who, who knows what's the reason. And this is very, this is actually a very traditional style of uh, Black Thorn. Um, Lots of black thorn sticks that you see in old pictures, they weren't straightened, they were just kind of left with all the bends in it. And if it was strong enough to support all your weight with the bends and it didn't like have any buckles in it and it was quite strong, it actually made for, for a good walking stick. And this one such example, also this was like a common style um, of a handle as well. Like you're all familiar with the knob stick. So if you want to make this into a knob, you would just carve it around here in a circle. But in many instances, people would just like cut it straight across here, straight across here, and then just kind of take the edges off it as well. And so this, this type of handle type, you would see in a lot of different shillelaghs and, and walking sticks as well. And like, you know, you'd leave a few little rasp marks and, and different things as well on it, you know, to, to let people know that it was handmade because, um, you know, that's how you can kind of identify some of these really, really old sticks as well. Because, you know, when, when guys are making walking sticks, it's not about making the perfect stick that's going to go in a museum. It's about something functional, something that's going to work. So you will see like um, little rasp marks on different things as well. And um, people were busy, you know, back in the olden days, you think people People had time to, to, to straighten things and different things like that but uh, maybe they did maybe they didn't and um, also another thing um, you'd see is that you would leave the thorns on quite long maybe like a quarter of an inch or maybe more as well this is quite normal as well in some of the the old uh, the old style sticks um, usually these bendy ones like you know they they usually need to be a certain thickness or else if you bend in them the bends like they, they'll bend badly badly but like you can see here look there's there's let me go over here a bit so we can kind of see so like you know there's there's a lot of bends in that like that bend doesn't look too good but like when i press on that i'm pressing that i'm pressing that it's really weird because you see where the bend is here it's countered at the bottom so the way the the bend goes you see the way the bend goes out on the bottom so when you put down with with pressure it doesn't it can support a lot of weight which is kind of like surprising because like when you see a lot of these bendy sticks like especially like if they're a bit lighter like this one like this one isn't too heavy at all let's just throw on the old scales here one second now get that back to zero Say it'd be like 200 or something. Let's see, 200 and... Yeah, so it's like only like 240 grams. So it's a kind of light enough stick as well, but it's very strong and durable, like a really old season piece of, of black thorn um, as well. And a uh, very, very nice stick as well. Not a damson, <laughs> as, uh, as some guy was messaging me there recently. Uh, there's a lot of sticks that kind of in a picture would look like a, a black thorn. Um, pear, damson, there's a few other ones as well. Some people even say cherry in a certain light. Remember some 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 guy was telling me that these are hazel sticks before, but it's all, it's all pretty funny. But um, yeah, so this is like, um, you know, how, uh, I, again, I, I kind of make the video because it's like an older style of stick that was made in Irish stick making. Um, you know, what do you call it? It's just the, the, the bendy type of stick, but like you need to do it with a hardwood. And like, as I said, like usually the best bendy sticks are actually going to be a bit thicker and heavier that can support weight but if you get a really good bendy stick that's seasoned well and just the way the kind of curves work when you put your center of gravity here in the center of your hand but yeah so if you're looking for an interesting older type of stick like this would be a uh, one example i don't do too many of these so i know you stick guys will probably uh probably want this when i put it online all right thanks very much for watching